Today we're going to begin our discussions of solutions. And a couple of ways we look at the solutions, we want to know what is in the solution. We want to quantify that. Two ways we do that are molarity and mass percent. Let's start. We're going to do, we're going to do three problems today. Uh, two problems involving molarity and one involving mass percent. Well, first of all, what is molarity? The formula for molarity is moles of solute. Solute is what's being dissolved in the solution. So the solute is what is being dissolved over liters of solution. Now remember, the solution actually has two components. The solution is a solute and the solvent both together. So moles of solute over liters of solution. So let's do our first problem. Calculate the molarity when 5.63 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, is dissolved in enough water to make 250 milliliters of solution. So we know molarity is moles over liters. So what we need to do is we need to take our grams and change that to moles. So we're going to change this to moles. And we're going to take our milliliters and we want to change that to liters. So here's the way this works. So first, we're going to take our grams and change to moles. So what we do is look at the periodic table and get the molar mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate. The molar mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate is 84. And so when we do that, the grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate cancel out. And now we have moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now, all we need to do is divide that by the liters. And there's a couple ways you could do that. You could actually just start off and put the liters right here under the mass. And you, if you wanted to, you could just start and say, divide it by a point. Uh, two, five, zero liters. And if you could do that in your head, so your answer would be 5.623 divided by 0.25 divided by 84.01, and they give you the right answer. Or I'll show you another option here. You could do it as a separate step. You could set the moles and then do the milliliters and then do the conversion of that separately. And then we have, here, have our final answer here, and we've got 0.2677 molarity or molar is the way you say that sodium hydrogen car carbonate so you say molar the same way like you'd say the tooth in the back of your mouth the molar or you could also write that as moles per liter m o l over liters so you could write moles over liters over the or the big m for molarity let's do another problem that was fun how would you prepare 2 liters of 0.25 molar sodium hydroxide from solid sodium hydroxide. So if you think of the formula for molarity, remember molarity, molarity is equal to moles over liters. Now what do we have here? We have liters and we have molarity. So basically we're going to say, what's a moles? Remember moles is equal to liters times molarity. You always want to write your liters first because your molarity is really a bridge to get to where you're going. So the setup for this should look like you have liters, and then you divide by your molarity, or multiply by your molarity. Now notice I didn't write big M here because it's more important because I want to write moles per liter so I can change that to something else. So my liters cancel out here, and now after the first step I have moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, the, now we can't weigh out moles in the lab, so we need to change that to grams. So the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40, so now the moles of sodium hydroxide cancel, and I get, and at this, at the end I get grams of sodium hydroxide. So 2 times 0.25 times 40 gives me my final answer, which is 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. That's an amount of mass you uh, would use. Now, the question asks, how would you prepare? This is only part of the answer. The other part of the answer would be this. You want to place 2 grams of sodium hydroxide in a 2 liter volumetric flask, add water to dissolve the sodium hydroxide, and fill the mark with water several times mixing along the way. Well, what does that mean? What's a volumetric flask? Well, a volumetric flask looks like this. And actually here, I have a two liter flask. What's cool about a two liter volumetric flask is this holds exactly two liters. There's only one mark on the whole flask, and that's for two liters. So you want the bottom of that curve called a meniscus to go right tickle the bottom of that two liter mark. So you put the solid in here, the water, mix it up, and then add water to the meniscus goes right there. That's a two liter volumetric flask. Also have a 250 milliliter if you want to make a smaller amount. Or if you want just a little bit, I even have a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. So you, three different options here. Let's do one more problem. Let's do a mass percent. So a mass percent. Well, first of all, what's the formula for mass percent? Any percent is part over whole. 
and a mass percent would be mass or grams of part over grams whole. Now, since we're on solutions, the part is going to be the solute, the things, the thing that we're dissolving. The whole is going to be the solute and the solvent together. So notice we have both those. Now remember the solute and solvent together is really solution. So you say mass percent is grams of solute over grams of solution. Let's, so let's do a problem like this. What is a mass percent of potassium chloride if 2.14 grams of potassium chloride is dissolved in 37.5 grams of water? So let's see if you can try this. First, what is a part? That's a solute. The solute for this is your potassium chloride. What is a whole? Hopefully you did not say 37.5. The whole is both of those added together. Not just one thing, it's both of those added together. So the setup should look like this. 2.14 divided by 39.64, the entire thing, times 100. Remember, this is your part, and there is your whole. So when you multiply, divide those, multiply by 100, you get your final answer, which is 5.4% of potassium iodide. And I love chemistry. I love chemistry. I love chemistry.